I am Abed, and I would like today to introduce a very important topic is the mycorrhizal training course. We offer this course here at the University of Florida, and I'm going hopefully to reach more audience. Very important to understand first question is what are mycorrhizae? There is too much demand now in organic farming and the environment change to go back to natural environment. So the mycorrhizal here as a symbiotic associations between plant root and special kind of soil fungi. This symbiotic associations initiated billion years ago for one reason that the plant it trade carbons for nutrient uptakes, for water takes, and for protections. In fact, billion years ago, through the evolutions, the soil is not that good for the plant to start on it because all rocks. So the mycorrhizal fungi work to produce organic matters to develop the soil, produce hyphae to mesh the soils and build the soil particles and aggregate for the plant to use them as establishment soil for them to grow. In that evolution times also, the plant was not able to take phosphorus from the soil or nutrient from the soil. So the best way for them to ensure that they can survive on this harsh environment billion years ago, they make an association with the mycorrhizal fungi. Those fungi are also adapted to these situations to be peaceful microorganisms and to help the plants. So they are inside the root. And then they specialize in take phosphorus. I will cover this one later on. So their function that with the roots as additional roots. So the plant can ensure more communications with the soil to get minerals and water from it. Thus fungi help the plant to grow. Soil management in our time now influence those mycorrhizal fungi and can hurt their development. So the symbiotic association with the plant is very significant. You can see from this diagram, these pictures, plant, this is clovers, white clover plants. And this is true for all the plants. Merely 95% of the plant all around us, they need the mycorrhizal. So plant with mycorrhizal grow better than plant without mycorrhizal. As you can see from this is experiment done in my greenhouse. And when the plant mature, in the harvest times, there is a really significant difference in the growth between a plant with mycorrhiza and a plant without mycorrhiza. Now, why those mycorrhiza fungi specialize in a specific nutrient element from the soil, phosphorus? Because phosphorus is important for any living cells. Without phosphorus, plant or any cells cannot survive or die. Phosphorus involved in enzymatic reaction, in metabolic pathways, is component of molecular acid, DNA, RNA in the cell, is important for phospholipids, for the membrane to function, and more important is an ATP, adenine triphosphate. This is the battery for the cell to produce energy without the cell cannot survive. For that reason, the mycorrhizal fungi find very important, unique, to specialize in uptaking of phosphorus because that's what's important for any living cell to work. Now, the phosphorus also in the soil is not available all the time. About 80% of the phosphorus in the soil not available. Either is in organic forms, because other than plant roots, all other organs need phosphorus. So bacteria, fungi, other fungi, 
or living organism will take the phosphorus when it's available and make it unavailable for the plant to take it and convert it to organic carbons or inorganic. Also, there is another element. Aluminiums and irons react very quickly with any available phosphorus and make it unavailable as an organic forms. So the plant to ensure that get access to the phosphorus that needed for survive and growth, they need to do, uh, they need to ensure that secure supply of phosphorus. That's why they initiated the symbiotic association with the mycorrhizal fungi. Phosphorus also is very important in the weight of the plant. If you take a plant and dry it, weight is about 0.2 percent grams of dry weight of the plant. How this work now with the with the phosphorus and then the soil and the plants? So the the fungi and the bacteria release phosphatase. Phosphatase digest the unavailable phosphorus, organic or inorganic, and make it ionic forms, orthophosphates, to take by the plants. Now, other dilemma here is that, that when the phosphorus taken by the plant, the plant cells need a huge amount of phosphorus. In fact, need thousand times more phosphorus than what available outside. So now the plant cells need to spend more energy to take the phosphorus and spend more energy to keep it inside against to natural diffusion to the outside. That's why they, they uh, avoid to spend all this energy to make the symbiotic association with the mycorrhizal fungi. Now the evolutions and then the, the way of life living now is we need to produce organic farmings and need to produce good plant growth around the years and in good environments. So there is more demand on mycorrhizal fungi, inoculum of mycorrhizal fungi. Very important to know about that. Those mycorrhizal fungi, like any other living organisms, adapted their environments. So mycorrhizal fungi developed in the, raw, uh, in the north probably will not work well if you move it to the south or to the uh, hot environments. So that's what you need to look for, how to produce the mycorrhizal fungi and use them if there is any change in the soils. Mycorrhizal fungi are always available in the soil, but they will disappear from the soils when we use more fertilizer, use more pesticide, we use more fungicide, or we uh, till the soils, uh, more arrangement to the soil, more management to the soil, more water to the soil. All this will change the dynamic of the mycorrhizal fungi in the soils. So it's more important to produce inoculums when you need it to establish a plant with mycorrhizal in the new environment. It's very easy to uh, produce mycorrhizal if you master how to produce them or you know how to produce them. You can produce them around the years on your own, own resources. If you have a greenhouse, you can produce them year round or you can produce them outside the greenhouse in your backyard or the green if you have, uh, if you raise them in the right seasons. This mycorrhizal fungi need to know how they to find them from the soils when you go sample them and you need how to process them. Because there is reason that you can see them, there is no change in the root morphology when those mycorrhizal fungi with the roots. You need to use the microscope to see them. And also, when you find them outside in the field, you need to find the right plants, sample the right location of the soils, and when you take the samples, soils to the lab, you need to process it and find how much mycorrhizal spores you have in the soils and how much mycorrhizal colonization you have in the roots. All this information for this course are online, and you can if I need uh, more information. You can access the. We have the outline topics and all the information you need online. Uh, the topic we are going to cover are 
estimate mycorrhizal fungi presence in the soil and plants, isolate mycorrhizal spores from the soils and give estimation of how healthy is your soils and how much you have spores of mycorrhizal in your soils, or uh, detect mycorrhizal fungi in the roots. We need to process the roots, uh, prepare the roots, put them on the slide, see them under microscope, and see how much mycorrhizal fungi with them. And also, this uh, course will help you to produce your own inoculums. And very important, and last topics we're going to cover is how to test your soil to find your soil is healthy, active, and biological sound. It has good, the right amount of microorganisms, fungi in it, mycorrhizal fungi. And when uh, take this course, you will find a way to uh, estimate the health of your soils. Uh, this course is accumulations of long time learning, and uh, we offer it now for 16 years. And along those years, we developed uh, hand-on experience with people coming from everywhere, uh, uh, national and internationals, take the course, and uh, we expose the need for all the people of those times, and we develop uh, the highest information we can uh, develop for people to use it. Uh, we recommend it really and, uh, important for uh, people who want to improve their plant health or to improve their soils. So any uh, interest on this one is, is good to take the course and learn how to use the mycorrhizal. Uh, we designed this course to be uh, finished in three days. Also, you can uh, arrange time to take it longer if you want. Each day of those course, we go going to uh, uh, introduce you to topics that you can use them to evaluate the mycorrhizal fungi, quantify them, see them, and produce their inoculums. We recommend it going through the outline of the topics, very important before registrations or before the deadlines. If you need more information, easy to contact us by emails. Mostly this is the, the best way to do it. And then we can answer any question you need. And we look forward to seeing you on the course and more important to help everyone with the project you're going to start in mycorrhizal after we've taken this course. The contact here, uh, we've, we, we put it online also. Our uh, online uh, course informations our phone numbers, and our uh, emails. And it is always rewarding to help someone find the mycorrhizal. And this is the testimony from people who have taken this course. Thank you very much.